It was Hollywood's biggest night, but who slayed the champagne carpet at the Oscars? For this, we turn to the woman who's been dissecting red carpet fashion for decades. Please welcome back to the show our friend Melissa River. Yeah. Yeah, Melissa. Hi, how is everyone? We're great. Good. We're better now that you're here. Hello, darling. Melissa, I hello, really want to. Hello, darling. <laughs> Tell us who did you love last night? Uh, well, first of all, I wish I had been on a segment earlier as well, because I got a lot to say about what you guys were talking about. But let's talk Ooh, fashion. Um, the, the, the ruler of the red carpet this entire season, Angela Bassett. Yeah, yeah bravo. The purple. Yep. Like, this I loved that dress. Yeah. Award season. It was Jem Jeremy Scott from Espino. Um, I'm pretty sure the... Jewelry was bulgary because mm -hmm. I could see it's it's very uh, iconic bulgary. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this entire season, come on! I always feel like when she shows up, it's like, okay, children, step aside. <laughs> the adult is here. The movie star has arrived. <laughs> and somewhere in my head, I, I'm dreaming of her saying, "Good evening, peasants." <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, That's the way I start shows here. Yeah, you yeah. do. It's, it's really rude. It's rude. <laughs> the children may play. I have arrived. Anybody else? Um, oh my God, Sophia Carson. Yeah. How about that? Yes. That, that was a Gian Battista Valley. The Chopard necklace. I have this written down. Had a hundred and twenty-two carrots of emeralds and 92 of diamonds. Anyone getting I mean, Wilma Flintstone vibes in a good way? No, I'm getting Audrey <laughs> Hepburn. Me too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I dropped mean, waist, Audrey. Yep. I, it's like you can barely, mm. the face is beautiful. The hair is perfect. Then you hit the necklace and then you hit the dress and you're like, oh, wow. It was just such a beautiful moment. Yes. Mm. Um, Tara Delevingne. She was amazing. Wow. Uh, and Ellie saw, again, we saw a lot of big jewelry. My boyfriend actually looked up from his crossword puzzle uh, <laughs> during this and went, whoa, who's mm -hmm. that? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean. Was that the just, dress of the again, night for you? What? Was that the dress of the night for you? Oh, you know, I mean, I, the dress of the night had to be, for me, Angela Bassett. Oh, yeah. But I loved Kate Blanchett in Louis Vuitton. I loved Michelle Yeoh in Dior. It, the evening was, it was a very pretty evening. She was in Louis Vuitton, Kate Blanchett, and uh, Michelle Yeoh was in Dior. Dior. Wow. And it was a very, um, which I loved, a very traditional movie star glamour evening. We had big dresses and great jewels and color and slick hair. There was no one like, we're, we didn't have like the slip dress and the right. beach hair. Right. Melissa, I'm super curious about what your interest that we were talking about. So maybe at the end of the segment, we have some time, but let's talk about the men who showed up last night. Okay. I have this thing that I've been talking about that I don't like when people show up with no shirt in this. And I got into a discussion with someone about, well, this is the younger generation expressing themselves. And I'm like, last night would prove my point. Mm. You had Austin Butler and Miles Teller, mm -hmm. both young actors, Miles Teller pulling off tradition beautifully. Yep. Austin, yep. Uh, Austin Butler, who's a big fashion guy, made a traditional tuxedo, mm. young and fashion forward that worked on him, yeah. yet still the, the traditional jacket, yeah, the white shirt, great. the tie, the pocket square. So I loved that we saw two young actors wearing it totally differently, but the one that made my jaw drop last yeah. night, Harry Strum Jr. That was yes. Al's We thank literally you. just talked thank about you. that. Thank yes. you. Melissa, thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Al was just raving yeah. about how I much he loved it. I love the look too. I think it's the coolest tux I've ever seen. Well, and a lot of people aren't liking it. They're saying it looked like a bathrobe. Mm -mm, no, no one else could pull that off. And it was dark navy. It. He is handsome enough and stylish enough. Fantastic. It, it, it nod to his heritage. Yep. That that OB. Uh, yeah. My jaw literally dropped. Yeah. The, the, he did everything right. Who do you think missed last night, Melissa? I don't think there were necessarily misses. And I was very surprised about that. I felt there were moments that were underwhelming. Mm. Mm. Such as? Um, Anna de Armas. Yeah, I didn't mm. like this either, I'm Melissa. I'm right there with you. I didn't, in, I, I, in, I didn't like it. In, in Louis Vuitton, 
She's a nominee. I wanted a moment. Yeah. And I didn't get a moment. Melissa, um, do you think that the carpet being champagne hurt people like Anna? Mm. Because there's something that feels washed out in these lighter mm -hmm. creams the and Yo silvers and whites. Yeah. Well, and I think that happened to uh, also Michelle Williams. Yep. Mm. Yep. But nonetheless, even if you take it off, yes, we lost the detailing and the dress and the beading. But I still wanted her to have a bigger yep. moment. I wanted hair. I wanted jewelry. She's a nom, a first time nominee. She's beyond gorgeous. I just was hoping for a, 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 a special arrival. Well, speaking of special arrivals, Melissa, and we only have about 20 seconds. We have to get your opinion before you go on the dress worn by singer and songwriter Thames. There it is, her outfit, getting some hate for being too big, or was it a moment, according to you? On the carpet, a moment. The top part needed to come yes. down. Because not right to the people behind you. If you put the picture back up, there's people like craning to look at <laughs> <around. laughs> poor man. You know, that to me is, is just, that's not okay. Yes. It's fine for the carpet. It should have been able to come down. You're, mm. All of your opinions, I right feel like, on. are spot on. Yes. Uh, people should just go to you next time. DBL Nation, <laughs> check out Melissa's hilarious podcast, Melissa Rivers Group Text. We miss you. Thank you so much. We hope to see you soon. Uh, bye, Melissa. We'll be yeah. right back. Great breakdown. Bye. Thanks. Thank you.